The U.S. Senate has confirmed Judge Brett Kavanaugh as a new associate justice to the Supreme Court. Kavanaugh has been sworn in and could join the court as early as Tuesday. This, despite weeks of tension over Kavanaugh's nomination, including sexual assault allegations lodged against him that he denies. Republicans called it a witch hunt. Democrats accused the other party of ignoring women's voices. CGTN's Jim Spellman is here with more on the confirmation, Jim. I don't recall this much political division outside of like a general election day. It, it, it's been so ramped up here in Washington for several weeks now. This was a brutal confirmation process that has left the United States even more divided as Washington now looks towards the upcoming midterm elections. On this vote, the ayes are 50, the nays are 48. Brett Kavanaugh confirmed to the U.S. Supreme Court after a bitter fight that laid bare deep political divisions in the United States. The confirmation process took a turn when psychology professor Christine Blasey Ford accused Kavanaugh of sexually assaulting her as another young man looked on back when all three were in high school. Indelible in the hippocampus is the laughter, the, la the uproarious laughter between the two and they're having fun at my expense. Other women also came forward claiming to have been abused by Kavanaugh while he was intoxicated in high school and college. I've never sexually assaulted anyone, not in high school, not in college, not ever. The FBI concluded a quick, limited investigation into the allegations, but in the end, never the Democrats know. didn't have the votes to stop Kavanaugh's promotion. I applaud and congratulate the U.S. Senate for confirming our great nominee, Judge Brett Kavanaugh, to the United States Supreme Court, President Trump tweeted shortly after the Senate vote. <laughs> Throughout the process, protesters demonstrated on Capitol Hill, with supporters of Kavanaugh left satisfied. He's an extremely qualified man. And opponents left defeated. A lot of anger and disgust and disappointment. And a all the women I know were against him being confirmed. Even though Brett Kavanaugh has been confirmed to the U.S. Supreme Court, we don't expect to see this passion end anytime soon. Though this is a major political victory for President Trump, Democrats say they will channel this passion and anger into votes in the upcoming midterm elections. People think resistance is standing in the street and screaming and yelling, and that is just the beginning of what we have to do, because now we take this anger and determination, and we realize that today is going to send a depth charge through politics as we know it, and we go home, we vote, and we run for office. Protesters were still outside the court chanting slogans against Kavanaugh as he was sworn in inside. Kavanaugh adds a fifth conservative voice to the nine-member Supreme Court, potentially shifting the direction of high court opinions for decades to come. So what happens now with that anti-Kavanaugh momentum? We're a month away from the elections, and some have suggested perhaps trying to impeach him from the court. Right. Long story short, that's very unlikely. Supreme Court justices are appointed for lifetime terms, but they can be impeached just like presidents. That process begins in the U.S. House of Representatives, where a simple majority is needed. Then it moves to the Senate, where a two-thirds majority is needed to remove the justice. Only once, all the way back in 1805, was a Supreme Court justice impeached. In that case, it didn't make it past the Senate, and he remained on the bench. So it's almost impossible, but the first step for Democrats is winning control of the House of Representatives and possibly the Senate in the midterms a month from now. However unlikely the possibility of impeaching Kavanaugh or even President Trump is, it may be enough to get voters to the polls. There is so much frustration, Roe, amongst these people that I met today protesting this decision. They feel powerless, but they see an opportunity at that election day in November to maybe turn things around. All right. Our thanks to Jim Spellman for that.